hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to send a gameplay event with replication so here now i am playing with the client this small screen sub client and this guy is an npc character and the big screen which is this character here is a main character uh, in the is the server so here if i try to attack the server character no, I can attack but if I try to attack another client character or the NPC uh, NPC is working but the client is not working the reason is because we are using a send gameplay event uh, to show the reaction of the character but that is not replicated by default if I try using the server character here now let's see now as you can see it also does not replicate to client so client is not responding at all but the npc character is responding because that character was already there in the level this is the npc character and this is how i send the event i trigger this GA hit react sword gameplay uh, ability through this react dot sword trigger so I have set this gameplay ability event uh, to activate ability from event because I need to access the instigator and so I can turn the character who get hit towards the attacker if I use just activate ability we will not have access to this event data so that's why I, I wanted to trigger it this way so yeah now we are going to see how to replicate this send gameplay event to actor so that we can use it from client or server or so whatever the way we are going to play and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel for the membership of the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download any project without a limit. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. Right, now to solve this replication issue. So here, as I said, we are using this in gameplay event to actor, which is not replicated by default. So the only way that I could figure out I can replicate this is using RPCs so remote procedure calls that basically means using a function that we can run on server and then a function that we can execute from server to execute on all the instances of the game so I'll show you that would be clear okay first of all I think this ability may not be the only place that I would need to use replicated send gameplay event to actor therefore I'll create a new ability later on that I am planning to make the parent of these abilities that we have already created so I'll call this parent ability GACLM stands for code like me case you wonder now here I'm gonna create three functions three event custom event I'll call this send gameplay event um, replicated okay now what we need to call here at the end is this send gameplay event to actor function so send gameplay event to actor so now in order to use this we need parameters actor event tag and the payload okay now this is not where we would be all in this but I just needed an easy way to create the parameters right now let me duplicate this function and call it 
send game play event server and then I'm gonna mark this event as run on server so whenever I call this event no matter where I call this that means I would be calling from a client but this function would actually execute in the server now in the same way I need another function I'll call this send game play event multicast so here I'll mark it as multicast what that means is as you can see here in this description replicate this event from the server to everyone else so that means everyone else uh, server execute this event locally to and call this event from server so that's important so if I call this event from the server it will be executed in the server and also in the clients as well right now this is the basic first function that I'm going to call when I want to send an gameplay event here there is a node called has authority this will execute true if we are in server otherwise false if it is true then what we should do is we should simply call send game play event multicast with these given parameters if not what we should do is if not that means we are in one of the clients not in server in that case we should call send game play event server so even though i trigger this event in a client this will run in the server so now when this event is run on server then what i want to do is again call in this send game play event multicast because i want to send the gameplay event not just in server in all the instances finally what this function should do is call in this send gameplay event to actor right now this should replicate across all the instances of the game including servers and clients when if i call this send gameplay event replicated instead of send gameplay event to actor the default function that we have so in order to access these functions what i can do is i implemented this in gaclf i'm gonna make this ga light attack sword let's go to car settings and make GACLM is the parent class now i will have access to send gameplay event replicate okay now we can dish this target is actor and sorry actor is this actor not the target target itself that means this ability and the tag is react dot sort and payload is this and we don't need this anymore okay now let's save now let's test let's start from a client and let's first attack the npc yeah it does react it actually reacted before as well as i remember and now i can attack another client and why it's not attacking the server okay ah one more thing here in the class defaults we need to make sure this replication policy is set to replicate otherwise 
it will not replicate anyway right okay let's test again yeah now i can damage both client and server this is the client well they are close together so i but anyway you can see the reaction now let me test from server yeah it's replicates from client to server as well and then pieces they were working anyway all right so yeah and i can kill them okay <laughs> nice all right so that's all i wanted to do in this episode so thanks for watching updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in another episode goodbye